Hey guys, Luke here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get an inactive taken Instagram username in 2018. Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and click the bell icon to be notified every time I upload a new video. So you know what it's like, you've just thought of a super cool Instagram name, you go and have a little search on Instagram to see if it's taken or if it's available, and you have a look and you see it's taken by some inactive account that hasn't posted any Instagram posts in years and it's so unbelievably annoying. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get an inactive Instagram name. So this first method, you're probably going to end up having a little less success with, and that's to send a private message to the person who has your Instagram name, offering to take their account off them. You can either just ask them straight off the bat and ask them if they give it to you for free, or you could offer them some sort of monetary value in order to take that one off you. There's a few popular examples out there of people that have actually done this and retrieved a username for themselves. So you could go about this route, but it's probably not the best route, especially if the account is actually inactive, then you're probably not gonna receive a reply anyway. So I'd recommend going with the second option, which is contacting Instagram directly. So if you click on the first link in the description, that's gonna take you to the Instagram support page. And on there, you'll get the Instagram help center. It says, what can I do if someone is impersonating me on Instagram? It says Instagram takes safety very seriously. If someone created an Instagram account pretending to be you, you can report it to us and make sure to provide all the requested info, including a photo of your government issued ID. It says you can either report this to us within the app or by filling out the form. I'd recommend filling out the form because it's the quickest and easiest way of doing it, but you could try the app if you wanted to. So you're gonna to wanna to click on the link that says this form, and then it loads the report an impersonation account on Instagram. It says, if someone created an Instagram account that's pretending to be you or someone you know, please use this form to file a report. So it says, which of the following best describes your situation? Someone has created an account for my business or organization. Someone has created an account pretending to be me or a friend, or someone has created an account pretending to be someone I represent, e.g. my child. So if you wanted an account that's under some sort of brand name, then obviously you go for the first one. But the one we're going to be talking about today is the one where it says someone has created an account pretending to be me or a friend. So if you click on that one, it will open up another couple of options. It says, is this account impersonating you? And this is just Instagram asking if you're applying for yourself or on behalf of someone else. And obviously in this situation, you're applying for yourself. So you just want to click, yes, I am the person being impersonated. Then it's going to load up a form and you're going to want to fill all of this out with all of your information. So you've got your full name in there. Then you've got your email address in there. That should be the absolute best place that Instagram can contact you because if they want to give you the account, then this is where they're going to give you it. Then also the full name listed on the account that you're reporting. And then you're going to want to upload your government issued ID and put in the Instagram username of the reported account. So this is basically the account that you want to take for yourself. Then there's a little description box here. It says, please tell us how this account is impersonating you. We'll need a detailed description of how the information on the account that shows intent to deceive others by using your identity. This information could include links to images and you may even point out captions or comments associated with the images. To get a link to the image, visit Instagram on the web, blah, 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 all that stuff. So basically in this description box, you're gonna to wanna to be as persuasive as you possibly can, asking Instagram to give you the account. So you don't wanna sort of show intent of you wanting to take the account, but sort of say stuff like, uh, they are using my name, they're using my brand. So I'd recommend maybe creating a website that links to the username that you actually want to have. So create a little website on a free website creator showing that you own that brand and it essentially tells Instagram that someone is infringing on your brand and that they're taking your brand and saying that it's theirs. Now obviously Instagram takes this sort of thing very seriously so if you sort of mention that that's what's going on then they're very likely to give you the account. Then all you have to do is click send and wait a few hours to a few days. Instagram looks through every request individually so it may take a bit longer than usual but just wait it out and they'll get back to you as soon as they can. I hope this video helped you out and good luck trying to get your username that you want. I hope it works out for you. And obviously if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video.